Assalamualaikum to Madam Nurul Dayana. Today our group will present about mini project system analysis and design. For group members, first we have Ahmad Shafiq Shami bin Ahmad Mazhar. Second is me, Muhammad Hairul Adib bin Muazzi. Third, Muhammad Fakrul Syuf bin Muhammad Saidi. Fourth and lastly, Muhammad Iman Nur Hakim bin Sazali. Introduction Sofik Solution Technology is a company located in Bayan Baru, Penang that is currently planning to upgrade its physical access control facilities to a systematic access control system. <coughs> the purpose of this upgrade is to improve the security of the premise by implementing a more comprehensive and effective access control system for all entrants and restricted access control rooms. In order to achieve this goal, a system analysis is required which will include key deliverables such as defining user categories, identifying features and processes for the access control system, and outlining an access control policy. This project is critical for maintaining the security and integrity of Sofic solution technology and the system analysis will be an essential tool for ensuring the successful implementation of the new access control system. Define system user category. First, regular employees which is this user category includes all employees who work at Sofic Solution Technology and require access to the main entrance and their design designated work areas. They may be provided with an access card or biometric authentication to enter the premise. They will have access to the areas of the building that are relevant to their job function such as their office or workstation. Second, uh, security personnel <coughs> which is security personnel will be another user category for the access control system. They will have access to all areas of the building and will be responsible for monitoring the security of the premise. They may also be responsible for managing access control for visitors and contractors ensuring that they are authorized and escort as needed. Third, management or executive. The management or executive of Sofic Solution Technology may require special access permission to restrict areas such as financial or IT departments. They may need to enter several rooms or other areas that are off limits to regular employees. They, their access will be granted based on their job roles and they may be required to provide additional verification such as a password or biometric authentication. Define system menu or process. First, access control policy. The access control policy is a set of rules and guidelines that defines how users will be granted access to different areas of the building. The policy may include information on access levels, authentication methods, visitor manager, and other security protocols. Second is <coughs> user management. The user management feature enables administrators to manage user accounts and permission. This may <coughs> this may include create <coughs> this may include creating new account, modifying access permission and disabling or deleting account as needed. It may also include the ability to assign access cards, biometric authentication or other access control method to users. Third, access control points. Access control points are the physical location where users are required to present their credential 
to gain access to a resisted re restricted area. The access control system may include electronic door locks, uh, turnstiles, or other physical barriers that require users to swipe their access card into a pin or user biometric authentication to gain entry. Fourth uh, is event monitoring and logging. The event monitoring and logging feature allows administrators to track and record all access attempts and events in the system. This information can be used to identify security breach, breaches, track user activity, and generate reports for auditing purpose. Uh, the last one is reporting and analytics. The reporting and analytic features provide administrators, administrators with insight into the overall security of the building it may include real-time dashboard, charts, and graph that display access attempts, user activity, and other key metrics. This information can be used to the used to identify areas for improvement and to make informed decision about security policies and procedures. So next presenter will be present by Ahmad Shafiq. Thank you, Arwadi. Now I will proceed to FDD, Systematic Access Control System. We have four. First is in, uh, entrance access control, uh, login information. And the next one is administrator access control. <coughs> we have safe login information, request login detail, and send login story. The second is access control management. Uh, we have request guest identification and send guest identification and the last one is system identification uh, we have allow guest identification the next one is context diagram we have three entity in the contact diagram which is guest employee and admin for guest uh, we request entrance and the process will be send guest identification the employee uh, request entrance and the process will be send login authentication and the last one is admin request login detail and the process will be send login history the next one is uh, Muhammad Nur uh, Imanu Hakim Thank you Shafiq so next I will be presenting data flow diagram level 0 so this is our uh, DFD uh, we have three entity five process and two data store so i will be uh, going to the explanation so the physical access control system will be designed to control and monitor access to the permits guests and employee will initiate an access request which is processed by the enters access control the enters access control then will do two things first send logging information to logging information database and second request guest authentication to access control management next the Access control management will send guest authentication to the system authentication. The system authentication then will allow or deny authentication and send the login authentication to the guest. After that, the login information database will send login detail to the administrator access control which then save the login detail to the login history database. The login history database then will send login history to the report system which then display login history to admin. Admin can also request login detail to the administrator access control. So, uh, next we presented by uh, Fakus Suyuf. Oh. Alright, for the process one, fingerprint security system are an excellent choice for SOPHIC organization to employ because fingerprints are tough to hack because there is no password or data to input. SOPHIC, on the other hand, this needs to utilize employee fingerprint access control to record staff, attendance, and office door entry. At initially, employees simply need to register a few fingerprints. Employees that have registered put out their registered fingers when entering or leaving their employment. When an employee scans their fingerprint, 
the system is able to recognize their biometric, collect the fingerprint data, and transfer it to the system. The employee must be authenticated and his or her access control must be adjusted in the second procedure. This transmits the biometric information to the administrator for approval before generating the report. For process 2, the first data flow that results in admin having to scan facial structure while attempting to enter the res restricted region. Following that, it will be linked to the face position detect procedure, which is admin face has been detected by the biometric system. It will measure numerous fa facial curves from the admin face to be processed for the second data flow. It will manage feature extraction from the admin face after it has been measured. The face will then be extracted in order to gather and compare data. The biometric system will next assess the administrator face matching and proceed to matching verification. Finally, the facial recogni recognition system will provide a report for admin access control and system updates. Conclusion. In conclusion, the upgrade of the physical access control facilities to a systematic access control system at Sophic Solution Technology is necessary step towards improving the security of the premise the system analysis conducted by the team will provide a clear roadmap roadmap for the successful implementation of the new system including defining user categories identifying key features and processes and outlining an access control policy by implementing a more comprehensive and, and effective access control system Sofit Solution Technology will be better equipped to protect its asset and ensure the safety of its employees and visitors. For so that's all from our group. Thank you.